your phone. It is the camera that is most convenient. It's easy to use, it's always with you. In fact, it's likely in your pocket right now. Your phone is a great way to get started in the video and live streaming world. But what if you're ready to step your game up a little bit and just make things slightly more professional? Well, we're gonna talk all about using a tripod with your smartphone. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Nick Polkowski and on this channel we talk all about videography and live stream and how you can use those to grow your business. And in today's video we're going to talk all about uh, your smartphone and using video, creating video with that and how you can be slightly more professional with it by using a tripod. So let's talk uh, all things tripod related when it comes to your phone. First, why might you be interested in using a tripod? Well, what's gonna happen is as you tend to progress through your video, you're gonna go and want to likely be doing longer videos or something that's a little more professional than simply holding your phone out and getting a little bit of shake there. Or maybe you're at the point where you wanna start interviewing people on camera or on your live stream. And for that, you're gonna need to back away from your phone a little bit more. You're gonna need to put a little distance there. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to look to create a stable shot, to create a consistent framing, and to likely use a tripod of some sort. So I wanna to talk to you about my favorite piece of gear for using with a phone uh, to help make sure that your phone will work with any tripod. And that piece is the Glyph. The Glyph is a really cool tripod adapter from Studio Neat. Uh, and I've, I've owned the first version, this is the second version, uh, and it just keeps getting better and I really like it. So the way this works is there's this little lever here and you just kind of pull this lever and then that allows you this little piece to go up and down. Um, and that's what's gonna allow you to fit any size smartphone in there. Like this is um, the iPhone, the iPhone 11, and it just clicks right in there so it's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and then what happens is you have a couple little screws here. Uh, you, have, you have a mount here on the bottom and you're just gonna adapt that and you screw that into any tripod that you have. And right there you have a very nice, very convenient adapter. That, so this will work with any tripod out there. Um, I, so I'd highly re recommend look at get, getting this. And the reason I say this, there's a lot of tripods out there that um, you know, you might be finding at Best Buy or Walmart or think places like that um, that are built solely for an iPhone. I would shy away from those because oftentimes they're too small or they're mini tripods and you might be getting to the point where you want to use your phone on different types of tripods out there. So that's why I like to get the Glyph um, because it's going to allow you to move to whatever tripod is out there. So you can go buy a Possibly if you need to save some money, you could get a cheaper tripod, something that's just gonna hold a stable shot. Uh, doesn't need to do anything fancy, doesn't need a fancy fluid head or anything like that. Just something that's gonna keep your phone in a consistent place and you can use this adapter to make that happen. Uh, what I also like about this adapter, it not only has the landscape mode, which is the way I tend to use it most of the time, uh, is in landscape mode. So that is just like this with a little mount right down here. Uh, but it also has a mount here on the, on the side next to the lever. You're going to notice that little lever right here. There is a mount right there. So then you can screw that into your tripod and then you can easily get your, for those of you who are doing like Instagram live or anything like that or want to take vertical video, you're able to do, create, uh, you're able to use this glyph on any tripod in a portrait or vertical position as well, which is really cool uh, and really neat. You're gonna also notice there is a tread on the top here. That is the perfect spot to put any, to put a cold shoe adapter. So when you have this cold shoe adapter on, that's gonna allow you to attach things like a mic right on top, or you could even attach a light uh, to help you kind of upgrade again and get a little more professional with your iPhone with your phone, uh, videography, or live streaming, which is really awesome. And like I said, this glyph is going to work with any sort of tripod out there, so that's a really a big reason why I recommend that. You can find a link for the glyph in the description below. Uh, but now I also wanted to talk to you kind of next level up, if you're looking to level up and use your tripod more, specifically more for vlogging, I have one that I really like, and that is this right here. That is the SwitchPod. This is a really great tripod, uh, and right now I have the SwitchPod. Um, I have their ball head on there, so it allows it to kind of move all over. But you can see, uh, all you need to do is say, take their glyph, and 
in full transparency, uh, Switch Pod, they do have a, they have a phone adapter. I have not used their phone adapter, um, but again, I really like the Glyph here. Um, so that's what I recommend for people is to you know look at getting this Glyph, and then you can just mount your phone right there. Uh, and the cool thing about the Switch Pod is the way that it converts. Let's here, let's move the phone head. So you could be out, you know, maybe you're walking around and talking directly to your live stream, uh, and then you decide, hey, I want to set this down so I can kind of find a nice, comfortable spot. All I have to do is flick it out, and that was not the smoothest one. Let's try that again. All I have to do is flick it out, and then you can set it down, and then you have full, uh, you can back away and it's fully on a tripod. Again, this is a shorter one. You're going to notice this uh, switch pod is going to have some very specific uses. If you need a taller tripod, this is not going to work. Um, but with the ball head especially, it does allow you to have to kind of adjust things in any way, shape, or form. If you need to quickly go, even if you need to quickly go into vertical mode, you can quickly do it that do that way um, too as well. So I do really enjoy the switch pod and I do use it quite a bit. And again, I'll have links for the switch pod and the ball head below as well. All right, so we covered my favorite tripod adapter, and honestly, that's the place I recommend everybody start. Um, and then we covered uh, my favorite vlogging tri style tripod, like a very small format vlogging style tripod. But now I wanna talk about my favorite tripod, bar none. This is the one I use for my DSLR, for my cameras, where I use this tripod all the time, every single day. And that is the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Uh, this is a great tripod, uh, not a cheap one by any means, I'll let you know that right away. Um, but it is super versatile. Uh, this is the, the carbon fiber one, so it's extra light, easy to carry with you, comes with a cool little travel bag as well, uh, and just allows so many things to happen. A couple different ways you can use it with your phone. One, it does come with just kind of, this is what the plate looks like. I won't dive in too much. Well, actually, let's cover a few of the features here. So there's a little knob here that you pull out, twist, and that brings this up here, and that allows this head to, and then when you turn the locking ring, it has a locking ring right here, and so when you open that up, it's going to allow wide range of motion. Again, you can quickly switch to vertical shots uh, if you need to, um, and then still have some flexibility there in, in where that is as well. Um, and it comes with a kind of a unique little plate. I forget what they call this Arca plate, I believe, um, Arca Swiss plate. But what you can do is you could easily add the glyph on top of here, uh, just like you would to any other plate. Or if you have your phone and you're just traveling, say you have your camera normally, your DSLR camera, or, or didn't want to attach your phone to this for whatever reason, um, it comes in this little compartment here. There's a little hidden compartment here, and it has its very own tripod adapter right here, set, hidden away, ready to go. So all you have to do is uh, go ahead and kind of click this in here into the adapter, and then we're going to go ahead and lock this off right here. And then just like with the glyph, it opens up and your phone just rests in there, so you can take any size phone. Um, it's really great, uh, and this is just a super awesome tripod. Uh, and it, this is gonna be one that's going to get you close to full height, because when you extend the legs, you get a significant amount of height there. Um, and I am 6'1", and this will easily get up to about just below eye level for me, uh, so I have a great position to have your camera and have your lens. So I highly recommend checking out the Peak Design tri Travel Tripod. So if you're looking for the most versatile tripod, something that you can use long into the future, highly recommend checking out the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Like I said, it is my favorite one by far. It's the one I use every single day. Use it all the time, love it. Uh, best tripod out there in my opinion. And again, I will have links to that below in the description. Well, there you have it. That is the quick rundown on the tripods and tripod adapters for your phone. If you want a complete playlist on how to get started with Facebook Live, uh, check out this playlist here. But I want to thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.